Now, you know our next guest from his hit show, Sons of Anarchy and Designated Survivor. Now you can see him in his new role as a cowboy in 1883. Please welcome LaMonica Garrett. Hey! Hey, how y'all doing? Woo, you like a cool drink of water, LaMonica. <laughs> I've been seeing you. I used to see you all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. You still look great. So Everything do you. Is great. Oh, so do you. Hey, you do too, LaMonica. <laughs> Okay, now before you got into acting, you were really involved in slam ball. How would you describe the sport? And can I play with you? Uh -uh. <laughs> slam ball. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like a live action video game. It's basketball, hockey, and football all infused into one with trampolines. It's, uh, it's contact basketball, and it's some of the most fun I've had doing anything. But it's a young man's game, and I couldn't, uh, couldn't keep that going these days. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Now, LaMonica, you are absolutely fit. Um, you know, like really, really fit. Yes. So I want to know, um, can, okay, I'm glad they put up the picture because I wanted everybody to see what I'm talking about. So how do you maintain this kind of physique? Uh, it's, it's, we're in a different situation. We're in a different environment working. Uh, you know, it's kind of my anchor. So my yeah. environment changes a lot, but that keeps me focused and grounded, and it uh, and it and it helps take the edge off. It's like a, a active meditation. Great. Yeah, you know, you posted a really cute photo of your two-year-old son Montana attempting his own workout. Aww. Do you think he's gonna <laughs> take after his daddy? Too cute. I hope so. He repeats everything we say, so, you know, hopefully he starts doing some of the stuff we do. <laughs> That's, That's fantastic. Well, I'm sure Montana will be excited to one day watch you on your new show, 1883. Now, you play a cowboy, like Lonnie said. With the lack of representation of black cowboys, how do you feel um, about playing this role? It was big for me. And, uh, you know, I did a lot of research on it. And you come to find out that one in every four cowboys back then was black. Wow. And you wouldn't know that with, you know, the way film and television has represented us, especially yeah. in this genre. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I found out that one of the cowboys that I was researching, he was buried maybe 10 miles away from us at the, at the ranch we were staying at in Weatherford. Oh, wow. So I went down and paid respects. And I told a couple of cast members, if you guys want to come with me, and we all went down there and... Um, you know, it, it just, it did something to me. You know, not just for the work and the prep, but, you know, just as a human being. And it just, it's something that I needed and I didn't know I needed. Wow. You know, all the actors on the show had to go through a cowboy camp. Tell us about that experience. Cowboy camp is fun. It was really fun for about two or three days until muscles <laughs> you didn't even realize you had started burning and hurting, sure. you know. And it made me appreciate the whole culture of cowboying. Like, yeah. it, it's, you know, it sounds like, you know, you just get on the horse, you go ride around, it's fun. But it's hard work. You're up first thing in the morning. When the sun comes up, you're up. You can see the steam coming out of the horse's nose. And you do that all day. You know, we were going from station to station, whether it's weapons training, uh, learning how to ride the wagons, uh, roping. We did cattle drives on the ranch from one side to the other. Wow. And just, you know, three, four hours a day learning how to ride a horse. So... How long it helped, was the camp? You know, How long did you guys have to go through the process? It was like a little over three and a half weeks. Wow, wow. That's, a long time. that's intense. Well, I'm excited yeah. because we have a clip of you in 1883. Let's take a look. We're making too many widows, too many orphans. We ain't making nothing. Their debts ain't our fault. They're our responsibility. That makes them our fault. Why is this different than sending soldiers over a hill? You knew they was gonna die. Never shed a tear for them. The hell I didn't. Woo, that's some good acting right there. <laughs> oh, LaMonica, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. You can catch 1883 streaming now exclusively on Paramount Plus. You don't wanna miss that.